Well, on the positive side, I've just pushed it a little bit and it looks like it's not glued as badly as some of the other ones that I've taken apart. So it's actually coming apart there. I don't know if the camera's in focus, whether we can actually see the LiPo battery in there. I can see it, but you might not be able to see it. I wonder if we can get hold of it. Sticky tape around it. So I've got the control wires around, wrapped around it, that's annoying. Let's see if we can just lift them out of the way. I know you can't see what I'm doing. What I'm wondering is whether that LiPo battery is the same as one of those ones that I've got in those wall climbing cars, because I've got quite a few of them. So I might be able to do a little battery swap. Just get it out and judge the size. I'm going to have to take it apart properly, aren't I? This is no good, because I won't be able to re-solder it anyway. Not from that position. Right, we can see it now. So there's our LiPo battery. If we can replace that, uh, what can we say looking at it? Forty five, twenty, twenty six. I think that is. 4.5 millimeters thick, 20 wide, and 26 long. If you actually wanted to find a, a matching one, but I'll just kind of have a look, see if I've got anything that sort of size, and I might just cut the wires and resolder them rather than try and get the receiver board out because that's on the back of there yeah I'll go and see if I've got anything that sort of size right so, so I got quite a few of these they tend to turn up cheap in the charity shops you can actually or I can actually use them for wall climbers but They've got handy little motors in them and gear, gearboxes. They're infrared controlled and I actually have some matching transmitters so I can actually use them as designed. But quite often I found the, the LiPo batteries in them have still got uh, a good life left in them. Good life left in them. I mean, they still work, they still take charge. So, um, just recently I've been using them as a source of small LiPo batteries. So, there we go. That one, well, it's a bit thicker. Oh, and that one feels a little bit puffy as well. But that's a 75 20 25. And that one was a 40, 20, 26. So width and length it's about right, but it's a little bit fatter. But 
I think I will um, I'll go for that. You see that one's that one's actually fully charged. Um, while we got it open, I'll just show you. Nice little motor there, little motor there, gearbox, gearbox, and that's the wheel that it's actually driving there, and that's the wheel that one's driving there, and then there's another motor there, which is a vacuum thing to suck it onto the wall. So I'll nick that. So, so I think I'll just cut the wires and join them. Or oh, I could. If I take the captain take tape off, I can actually solder that one, those wires, directly onto there. I've got some of this yellow captain paste the tape that I can replace. So I'll do that. Right, not sure how well you'll be able to see this. Probably not at all. I can use this little USB soldering iron. Start, that doesn't want to come off. Right, got it. Okay. So I say this isn't a perfect choice because that feels a bit puffy anyway. But we're going to roll with it. Right, don't know if that's in focus because I'm not looking through the camera. And now we switched on at the moment. Switch that on. So we put a battery in there and it's working. So I need to put some of that tape back over there to protect it. And then we'll squeeze it back inside. And then we'll see what happens. Right, hat camera on. We haven't recharged that battery, that's just what charge was in there. From the little uh, wall climbing car. So, will there be enough power just to fly? Are we going to risk flying up here? Uh, how about flying the opposite direction? No idea what it's going to do. There's a few sort of bends on the tail there. That'll probably upset the trim. Okay. That didn't look very promising. I'll give it a bit more of a push. Oh yes, it climbed. I don't think we've got any chance of actually turning it in the area available. But I'll see if I can do that. I'll try and go straight and then give it full right and see if we can turn it. 
Uh, yeah, all right, that was a theory. <laughs> Oh dear. It does say it's completely unbreakable. Yeah. Okay. Try and fry it straight to begin with. just be me launching it badly. Let's give it a bit of a right tilt. Okay, I'll go the other way. Well, there's no way it can turn round if we go this way. Given it left at the end there and it did start to turn left. Yep, it turned right. So, uh, changing the battery means that we've actually got a powered aircraft. How about if I turn that off, turn that off, if I can, horrible little switch, and then plug this in, try and get it the right way around, I think it'll only go in one way, right, charging lights come on, okay, well, we'll leave that, that is progress, we've Put a new battery, well, a, we've swapped a battery and it is now charging. So the next stage will be to take it somewhere and see if we can fly it. It's been very windy the last few days, so that might be a problem. Thanks for watching. If you like that, then you might like this. And if you like this and that, you might like to subscribe over there.